<laughs> okay, this is going to be unedited because editing on mobile is a pain in the ass. So, uh, Abhijit and I, JJ Jinx, uh, went to Smoky Mountain Knife Works the other day, and I just wanted to show the bag. <laughs> Because on the bag, they got like every knife brand. This looks like a NASCAR jacket. And it's two-sided. Whoa, they got different things on each side. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and um, you know your knives if you know all of those logos. <laughs> so I figured it would be fun to go through what was purchased. Um, let my buddy have a look at it, see what he thinks. And then the one on the table doesn't know anything about knives. Exactly. Uh, by the way, uh, just a full disclaimer, I'm on vacation and I'm drunk. Cheers. <laughs> I'm allowed because I'm on vacation. I'm also allowed when I'm not on vacation, just for the record. Mm. <laughs> Cheers to that too. Oh, well, <laughs> I know. We will begin with... This knife from the Ontario Rat Cut. No. <laughs> the Ontario Knife. <laughs> yes. The Ontario Rat Company. <laughs> this is from the Ontario Knife Company. The model is called the Rat 2. Check it out. All right. I hear there's a Rat 1 and a Rat 3, or just a Rat 1? Actually, there is a Rat 3. But the rat one and rat two ah, are. Why do you know how to use that thing? <laughs> so this that one, is, nice. the rat one is the same knife but just bigger. Oh, bigger! So this is a little brother. Yes, and they make it in two different steel types. This one is actually out of AUS eight, which is fine with me. You gotta sharpen it a little more often than the D two version, mm. but you get more corrosion resistance. Right, it's even it's a tiny bit of sharpening. Oh, I think I figured this out. I think the first time I've ever done this, able to open a knife and close it without any assistance from Eddie. Well, what you used was the thumb stud, mm. and you figured out the liner lock uh -huh. mechanism. Tell me what you think about the ergonomics. Right, okay. This actually is not bad. Comfortable? Well, it's a bit small for my hand. It could be a bit sharper, or well, it needs to be a bit sharper. Apart from that, I think it works smoothly. Well, I can't do this whole thing. Ah, actually, I can do it with one hand. Mm. It's nice. Well, I haven't tried the the belt strap, belt buckle, whatever this thing is called. What's it called? The pocket clip. Pocket clip, thank you. <laughs> yeah, which by default comes in tip down, but you can move it to any position, left-handed, right-handed, tip up, tip down. Ah, right. But this is nice. I can do everything with one hand. And when I release it, doesn't cut my thumb off. Well, at this moment, it couldn't. It's not sharp enough. But apart from that, it's nice. It's not well, flimsy. It's got a decent weight. I would just prefer a slightly... Oh, maybe one of the Rat 2... This yeah. Is rat, rat 1, just maybe Rat 2. Slightly bigger. Your hands are so enormous. You might be more of a Rat 1 guy. Ah, enormous hands. Donald. I should wear that hat. For the Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he talk about his mom's hands? <laughs> but this is more appropriate for me because it's smaller. I do have the rat one. It's a little too big for me. That would be good for you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't think we need to explain too much more uh, because it's one of the most popular knives ever out there. It's, it's a comfortable, convenient knife. And it, it is hard to tell how sharp it is by feeling it when it comes to, like, once it gets beyond a certain sharpness, you're just like, it doesn't feel sharp, but it actually is. Yeah. Uh, but we won't go there. <laughs> anyway, next up in line, let's talk about this knife that I got for $9.99. It's the Smith & Wesson HRT, which is a boot knife, traditionally. Very cheap made by Smith & Wesson. Um, I actually have an HRT, but this one comes with a green handle and with a plastic riveted sheath. 
My understanding of HRT is very, very different. Uh, HRT, what, do you, what does that mean to you? Hormone replacement therapy. Oh! Yeah, that too. <laughs> Smith and Wesson make guns too. Yes. Did they start out by making guns? Yes. Uh, um, so it comes with the sheath that I just took out, and then you get the, uh, this, I don't know what these are called, the ball <laughs> necklace <laughs> thing. Uh, I don't know why. Must be probably out of Dundee, have it around your neck? Yeah, I guess so, but, uh, I don't know. Th these are basically just very cheap. Hmm. That must have been nice. used to cut it open. This must have been pretty sharp. It went through this piece? Yeah, I, I, I cut through the, the plastic with the, the rat tube, which now you can see it. It is sharp. It is, yes. So here it is, Smith & Wesson HRT, OD green, rubberized um, handle. The quality is pretty terrible. There's, there's some kind of a molding issue on here. Uh, but I'm going to let my buddy tell us more. Thank you. Oh, it's a little too light for my liking. Well, again, I, I, I really can't tell if it's sharp or not. The other one I thought wasn't sharp enough, but it was bloody sharp. This one, again, is too small for my liking. The blade is also too small. It would look cool if it was done properly. Hmm. This thing has got flaws in it. I can peel stuff off from the handle. That's not good. <coughs> yeah, you can see there's like the uh, mold yeah uh extrude uh, not extrusion like the there's excess plastic that s the mold didn't remove yeah. kind of thing actually not even excess plastic it's plastic that needs to be there that's just peeling off oh it, it's just shit it is shit it's a cheap bloody knife see if it oh, see, if, see what that's about oh god doesn't even fit properly <laughs> <laughs> that is useless <laughs> They're not even the same size. Really? Look at that. Maybe it, there like, is a belt buckle here. I mean, hopefully you wear the right way. Those will cut important elements off you. It doesn't even fucking stay in. No. Nope. Doesn't click. Nothing. That is just this is a a shit knife. Well, that just means it's very easy to remove. <laughs> okay. It's also very easy to hurt yourself if it if it just falls out. Uh. Okay, oh. you have to really kind of work it in there. <laughs> All right, I must be a little too drunk. I think I think it's because it, it's like kind of a rubbery material, oh. so it it has no resistance until you give, oh. give it that resistance. Try again. All right, my mistake. Sorry. Oh, okay, finally. Yes, it seems I've figured it out. Oh, I can get it out now. There we go. So. But you didn't know that. That's true. It's still a cheap, shitty knife. That it's heavier and more solid. Yeah. Ah, now for my expert the opinion. Expert opinion. Yes. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason it was ten dollars. <laughs> mm. Speaking of bargain brand. What knife comes with a neon green lettering? That's right, Schrade. <laughs> I was looking at this knife on their shelving, and I was like, okay, I like the shape. It looks like a Warren Cleaver style blade. Oh, and it's on sale for like eight bucks. Now, I will let you use the uh -huh. rat too to slice this thing apart and retrieve the knife. Let's see, Let's see if I can do it. Oh, this knife is actually pretty Ooh. Let me help myself there. Eh? Sharper than I thought it was. Yeah, it, it's just one of those things where, like, the sharper it is, the less it feels sharp. Because normally yeah. we don't deal with knives that are this sharp. Like That's true. And there's a nice something. sharp tip, too. Oh, you just cut your finger. I stabbed it. 
and through the plastic, through the cardboard, came out here and then stabbed. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, it's not a big, it's not a big wound. It's a tiny little thing. This thing is bloody sharp. I take it back. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, you know what they say about knives. When it draws blood, it then belongs to you. Uh huh. So now I have to give it to you. <laughs> I bought it. Yeah. I'll get another one later. Yes, thank you. <laughs> now tell us about uh -huh. this one. This straight. Okay. Um. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh. Put it back on. Do you know the thing? Uh, is it, is it prevent me stabbing my finger again? Yes. <laughs> but there's a there's a gimmick. Ah. Oh. When you remove it, you have to go. Pink. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't All know right. That. Give it a shot. You'll get it. All right. Hmm. Here goes. Whee! Yeah. There you go. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this knife is eight bucks <laughs> on sale. Well, not much of a sale. It was originally twelve bucks. <laughs> okay. This knife is more my size. Hmm. Size is right. Just back up a little bit. Oh, it's on the frame. Yeah. The size is right. The weight. It still feels very light, though. It's not a solid knife. It's reasonably comfortable to hold. Now I don't know how to fold. Yeah, does it fold in? Oh, I think it's one of these things. Just like the rat too. All right, it does that. Ooh. Oh, and it's got a flipper tab. Ooh, not bad. That works nicely. Now let's see if I can do this in one hand. Should be able to. Oh, yes, this works quite nicely. A little bit harder than the first one. I mean, harder to do than the first one. But it's nice. I know the first one is sharp and it drew blood. Oh, it's drawing even more blood now. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I think we're going to have to drink some more alcohol to cure that. Or some blood? <laughs> Will do too. Yeah. Antiseptic. But this, actually, for, the, for eight bucks, this is brilliant. I don't know how sharp it is. I don't want to test it. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I'll let the expert tell you more about the knife. Yes. So what we have, um, I guess you could call that a reverse Tanto blade. This model, this Shred knife model, is called the Torsion. Um, it has a <clears throat> low ride pocket clip that is available in tip up only right-handed. And it does have that flipper tab it's not open assisted uh it is riding on bearings and the centering is very nice for eight dollars the g10 laminate uh scales and the rather thick blade stock what kind of steel is this oh yes aus8 steel for eight bucks it is literally a steel <laughs> in my opinion um i just i the 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 Schrade Torsion is, wow, eight bucks for all of that. I'm a fan. I'm a fan value of that. Money, I suppose. Hmm. That is a high value knife. Now, and I bled on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> you did bleed on it. <laughs> oh. should, we, should, we, should we take a break? Or should we continue? Let's continue. All right. I'm going to move on to something a little different. Right. <laughs> this is something I've been wanting for a while. It's the K-Bar Crunch. <laughs> uh, so this is one of the tactical kitchen utensils where it's a spoon and a straw. So you can eat your cereal and then drink the milk directly through the straw. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think this is amazing. This cost what? Two bucks? Eight three? bucks. Eight bucks. Oh. Let's see how it compares to straight knife. <laughs> it won't cut. But it, yeah. Yeah, uh, so K Bar makes a lot of like gimmicky hmm. they, they have tactical uh, chopsticks. Wow. They have a tactical pizza cutter. And now a tactical it's, spoon it's, comes it's, straw. It's just a fun thing. It is absolutely fun. I, I, I've got to try it. Yeah, we'll work that out. Oh. Let me try it. I can... 
The spoon works. The spoon works. <laughs> now let's try the straw. Mm. Mm. The straw works too. Yeah, very good. I mean, very good. <laughs> well played. <laughs> this works very nicely. Wait, box? Yeah, I get it. I mean, it feels like cheap plastic in the mouth because it is cheap plastic. But it works. Money well spent, I think. Excellent. All right. Ah. So, it was my first time at Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. I was very, very overwhelmed by just how huge it was. I considered taking video as I went, but I wouldn't have had as much of a good time if I was worried about that, so I didn't. You can go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works YouTube channel and get a tour of the place yourself through them. Uh, but suffice it to say, like every brand that you see in their catalog has like an entire kiosk of its oh, own. Yes. And in addition, there's just tables and tables and racks of stuff. Like uh, that Schrade knife just had a whole f huge rack of Schrade knives and Cold Steel had a whole section to itself. And that is going to be the next knife, is the Cold Steel Tie Light. I've been wanting one of these for a long time because one of the very first knives that I ever got from a Bud K Mystery Box back when I started even getting into knives was a tie light knockoff. I didn't know it at the time, but over I eventually figured out, like, oh, wait, I recognize that knife by Cold Steel. That's that thing I got from Bud K. Oh, Bud K ripped off Cold Steel. <laughs> this is a really cool looking knife. And so this is the tie light with the Chris style blade. A couple of things to note, you have that kind of slightly integrated thumb stud, which makes it a little bit difficult to access, kind of like the CRKT CEO, and kind of a little bit of a funky thing going on right here with a hint of a flipper tab here, which is just enough for you to kick it out, and with a little bit of a wrist action, Whoa. you can present yourself with that Chris style blade. Uh, I'm not too keen on the origins of this style of blade, but I believe it's Persian. Mm. Uh, yes, I think it's Middle East, yes. Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, it is a single grind, so the spine is nice and smooth. This part is uh, where the action is. Um, and I just love the way it looks. It's very mall ninja, but high end. <laughs> I. Um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. What do you have to say about yeah. it? Let's see. Oh, I do like it. Feels good. Comfortable to hold. Right size. And the blade looks bloody cool. I would never be able to sharpen it properly, though. That's the thing. <laughs> ah, that's true. <laughs> that's why it'll be on my shelf for display and nothing more. <laughs> I don't now know they, how I should close this. They, they do have like a straight edge version, but oh. I had to get the crisp version. Of course you have to get this version. Mm -hmm. And it is close it. also yeah. a liner lock. Mm. Now, try to flick it out with that little bit of flipper tab. If you can. This one? Yeah. Oh. yeah it flicks out. Right. Just, it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like it just started. You can get there eventually. There. Halfway there. Yeah, if I could master that, this knife would be really, really cool. Oh, it is sharp. Oh, yeah. It is sharp. Cold steel don't fuck around. Hmm. Ah, never <laughs> Never mind. I need the help. I need the... Oh, I'm, I'm a novice. I will get used to this. They do have a much larger version for like $20 more, but it was just unwieldy. Hmm. Not that I'm going to wield like it. like a war dagger. Yeah. <laughs> and the type of steel is a bit strange. Uh, I think, I don't remember, yeah, it says right here, it's AUS 10A, I've heard of AUS 8, um, so this is AUS 10A, don't know exactly what that means, but it is made in Taiwan. Taiwan, okay, which will soon be China. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, next one is, um... In one of the tables and tables of knives that I mentioned, uh, there was this M Tech knife that I spotted in a waterproof case. <laughs> 
So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm taking that. So yeah, it's an Emtech blade or knife inside of this clamshell plastic case. So this is a combo product. It's uh, the knife and you get this cool case too. Um, I'm just gonna really quickly cut the plastic tape piece things. Uh, I can see there's kind of a O-ring sort of seal to it. Now, oh, I see it. if you don't know about Emtech, this is the sh these, this is the brand they make the shit that you see in the gas stations. All right, okay. Which is why I, I was very <laughs> immediately attracted to it. <laughs> That's not opening. Oh, ah. ah. All right, I'll let you uh, have a squeeze. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the box is solid. There's a knife that came out of it. It is a small compact knife. If I can figure out how to open it. Hmm. It's like oh. All right. It is a bit small, but I tell you what. If I'm just going to carry this around for emergencies, this is quite nice. It has a nice feel to it. It doesn't feel light and cheap. Now, how sharp it is, I do not know. No. But it does feel nice. It's it's not uncomfortable. It's not comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable. To know no, no hot spots. It, yeah. yeah, it looks like it has a bottle opener back there. I think so. Yeah, the cap lifter type. That's one, yeah. The cap lifter type bottle opener. Mm. So this is one of those knives where the scale is kind of different on either side. You have this black plastic thing going on in the front, mm. but on, yeah. on the other side it's all stainless. And because of that, I think it is technically a frame lock, because unlike the liner, it's the frame where the piece of metal moves over and you gotta oh, I see. bring mm. it back out of the way. Uh, it's got a pretty rough walk and talk. No stud, it's just this weird teardroppy thing. It was more money than that Schrade knife, which I think is far, far superior. Mm -hmm. But you get this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see there's like this O ring thing and that two stage. Ah, that's what makes it waterproof. Yes. Yeah. And it's also got some of your blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're going to look at one more knife and then we'll patch you up. Right. <laughs> well, actually, two more, but two more. we'll just do this one quickly. Um, this is a Victorinox knife made for three year olds. <laughs> Maybe we should have started with that. Yes. <laughs> it, it's, it's a toy Swiss Army knife for children. <laughs> And it was only fifteen dollars. Made out um, of plastic. Yeah, it's all plastic construction. It just looked like a fun thing. <laughs> so I was like, fifteen dollars, that's a pretty reasonable deal for something like this. Because it's also like really big. Uh but we'll skip that for the moment and go to this knife, which actually he bought for me. Um this is, this is the Rough Rider Reserve. My second Rough Rider Reserve. Now, what makes it a reserve knife? Uh, better material, better quality mm. control. It's overall better quality better stuff. Quality. Mm. And it comes in a round plastic tin. Plastic tin? And it comes in a round metal tin. <laughs> <laughs> like a bottle of scotch. <laughs> oh, yes. We can pull one of those up. <laughs> That would be even more dangerous right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, I do have a Rough Rider Reserve that I've already purchased, so I'm familiar uh, with the sweeties. tin. Ah, yeah, sweeties. <laughs> <clears throat> it's going to be wrapped in this shiny plastic uh, rubber band, which, yeah, if we needed to, we could do a tourniquet on your finger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And we have a nice lens Ooh. cleaning cloth. Nice. Fancy. All right. Now, the other Ooh. 
The other Rough Rider Reserve knife I have is the uh, Hippo Toe. Uh, this one, I got one of their Stockman knives. I think this was just, uh, well, I don't remember what it was called. It's a Stockman. So it's got three tools in the black G10 laminate handle, arrowhead shield. And we it got really nice, sophisticated. Half stop Warncliffe blade. The half stopped clip point blade. Uh, so this is basically the highest end, highest quality Stockman knife that I own. But typically they come with um, a Warncliffe blade, a clip point blade, and a pen blade. But oh. because these are modern times, instead of the pen blade, they made it into a bottle opener. Priorities, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and that was what attracted me the most to this knife. So, yeah, this is like a super high quality Stockman knife. Looks nice. I mean, feels nice. Solid. It's yeah. solid. It's nice and shiny. Oh, it's oh like yes. Fantastic quality. Check it out. Oh, this is solid. Nice, heavy, decent weight. Nothing is cheap about this knife. Yeah, it's like 60 bucks. True, true. So, But you get what you pay for. This is valuable money, in, this, in my opinion. For, for a Rough Rider, that's a lot of money. Ah, but right. they, they put the work into it. Yes. Oh, this is a really nice knife. Oh, yes. Definitely worth it. Good purchase, Eddie. Yes, thank you. My solid one. I would say that this is my favorite out of my purchases, but I kind of knew what I was going into with the Rough Rider Reserve lineup. I would say that the biggest surprise was probably this trade knife, uh, the Torsion, which for only $8, uh, this is a surprisingly great knife. And <clears throat> my favorite of the bunch is not my knife anymore because... Ah, it has been because claimed. of this. <laughs> First blood, that means that's your knife. Be. So enjoy your Ontario rat number two. Two. Thank you very much, Eddie. Yeah. Sorry about that. Much honored. Okay. So that, that that's everything I got from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. My first time going. It was great. I had a. I would. I think we were in there for like an hour and a half. At least. I had to pee the whole time and I never noticed. <laughs> I didn't even notice. That's how much fun I was having. See, I don't, uh, me too. I know nothing about knives. That's my first time in a knife store. And I didn't realize we spent nearly two hours in there. I had a great time. Yeah, it's, it's cool just seeing like the brands that you recognize. Like they had a whole section for just like Condor. Uh, and then like, oh, I saw the MKM area. And I was like, ah, I know MKM. It's like running into an old friend, but it's a knife company. <laughs> oh, and the axes they had. And the people looking at axes. Oh, the people, too. Great spectacle. Mm. And they do this cool thing where when you, you go up to the counter, they, they show you what you want to see, and you look at it, and you're like, oh, yeah, I want that one. They're like, all right, it'll be up at the register for you when you're ready to check out. You get this little slip with your name on it, and... You, you don't have to worry about carrying shit around. Yeah, it was really great. Really fantastic. You walk around worry free, enjoy all these knives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that pretty much concludes this knife and this knife. I think that pretty much con <laughs> concludes this video. <laughs> ah, let's get another beer. Hi, right. perfect timing. This Some has been first. JJ Jinx. Truck and stop and knives! Now we should do like a. This has been JJ Jinx and a B. This has been a B and JJ Jinx. Let's do it. Okay. This has been a B and JJ Jinx!